Yofalem Jubilees 37. And on that day, Yitzhak, the father of Yaakov, and Esau died. The sons of Esau heard that Yitzhak had given the portion of the elder to his younger son, Yaakov, and they were very angry. And they strove with their father, saying, Why has your father given Yaakov the portion of the elder and passed over you, although you are the elder and Yaakov the younger? And he said unto them, Because I sold my birthright to Yaakov for a small mess of lentils. And on the day my father sent me to hunt and catch and bring him something that he should eat and bless me, he came with guile and brought my father food and drink, and my father blessed him and put me under his hand. And now our father has caused us to swear, me and him, that we shall not mutually devise evil, either against his brother, rather, either against his brother, and that we shall continue in love and in peace, each with his brother, and not make our ways corrupt. And they said unto him, We shall not hearken unto you to make peace with him, for our strength is greater than his strength, and we are more powerful than he is. We shall go against him and slay him, and destroy him and his sons. And if you will not go with us, we shall do hurt to you also. And now hearken unto us. Let us send to Aram and Peleshet and Moab and Ammon. And let us choose for ourselves chosen men who are ardent for battle. And let us go against him and do battle with him. And let us exterminate him from the earth before he grows strong. And their father said unto them, Do not go and do not make war with him, lest ye fall before him. And they said unto him, This too is exactly your mode of action from your youth until this day, and you are putting your neck under his yoke. We shall not hearken to these words. And they sent to Aram and to Adaram, to the friend of their father, and they hired along with them one thousand fighting men, chosen men of war. And there came to them from Moab, from the children of Ammon, those who were hired, one thousand men, and from Peleshet, one thousand chosen men of war, and from Idam, and from the Chorim, one thousand chosen fighting men, and from the Kitim, mighty men of war. And they said unto their father, Go forth with them and lead them, else we slay you. And he was filled with wrath and indignation on seeing that his sons were forcing him to go before them to lead them against Yaakov, his brother. But afterward he remembered all the evil which lay hidden in his heart against Yaakov, his brother, and he remembered not the oath which he had sworn to his father and to his mother, that he would devise no evil all his days against Yaakov, his brother. And notwithstanding all this, Yaakov knew not that they were coming against him to battle, and he was mourning for Leah, his woman until they approached very near to the tower with four thousand warriors and chosen men of war. And the men of Chevron sent to him, saying, Behold, your brother has come against you to fight you, with four thousand girt with sword, and they carry shields and weapons, for they loved Yaakov more than Esau. So they told him, for Yaakov was a more liberal and merciful man than Esau. But Yaakov would not believe until they came very near to the tower. And he closed the gates of the tower, and he stood on the battlements and spoke to his brother Esau and said, Noble is the comfort wherewith you have come to comfort me for my woman who has died. In this the oath that you did swear to your father and again to your mother before they died, you have broken the oath, 
And on the moment that you did swear to your father, were you condemned? And then Esau answered and said unto him, Neither the children of men nor the beasts of the earth have any oath of righteousness, which in swearing they have sworn an oath valid forever. But every day they devise evil one against another, and how each may slay his adversary and foe. And you do hate me and my children forever. And there is no observing the tie of brotherhood with you. Hear these words which I declare unto you. If the boar can change its skin and make its bristles as soft as wool, or if it can cause horns to sprout forth on its head like the horns of a stag or of a sheep, then will I observe the tie of brotherhood with you. And if the breasts separated themselves from their mother, for you have not been a brother to me. And if the wolves make peace with the lambs, so as not to devour or do them violence, and if their hearts are towards them for good, then there shall be peace in my heart towards you. And if the lion becomes the friend of the ox and makes peace with him, and if he is bound under one yoke with him and plows with him, then will I make peace with you. And when the raven becomes white as the raza, then know that I have loved you and shall make peace with you. You shall be rooted out and your sons shall be rooted out and there shall be no peace for you. And when Yaakov saw that he was so evilly disposed towards him with his heart and with all his soul as to slay him and that he had come springing like the wild boar which comes upon the spear that pierces and kills and recoils not from it. Then he spoke to his own and to his servants that they should attack him and all his companions.